Hey guys, so today's video is going to be how to keep, uh, how to take care of your fur in the summer. Or, um, it's basically not just summertime, it's basically when you're in a hot area and you don't know what to do, and, or you do know what to do, but these are just some tips to help you, or good ideas. So I wrote them down, I grabbed a pen and paper, and I just wrote down what I did in the summertime with my ferrets, and yeah, so let's get into it. So... Number one, I really want to show you this awesome thing. I absolutely love it, and I don't know where I got it. I'm so sorry, guys, but you can look it up. And, um, it, I don't think they're that expensive. My mom got them for me, and I don't really know where she got them. So, this was a lifesaver, a lifesaver. I also use this on my dog in the winter, I mean, summer, to keep them cool, and ferrets. Um, they have, um, they have less, they don't have a lot of sweat glands, so sweat keeps your body temperature, like, at a good level, and for ferrets, they don't really have a lot of sweat glands, so it, um, it's harder for them to, um, stay cool in the summer than it is for us or other animals. So this is what it is, it's a crate fan cooling system, it provides an extra cooling boost to fan, to fans Airflow keeps pets cooler on hot days. Attach easily to Pro Select crate fans, and it's a two-year warranty. You don't need to know that, but it's super cool. That's the crate, and this is the system. I'm just gonna show you really quick. So when you open it up, it looks like this. Sorry guys, I should have opened it. And um, I think there's more of it somewhere else. But this goes on their crate. I don't know. There's another box of it somewhere else, but it, as you see right here, there's another attachment system of where you do the fan. And here's the fan. It doesn't look like a fan because the other part is somewhere else right now in my room. And it also comes with another one of these cool ice things that you um, put in the freezer. So I thought that was pretty cool and it's called Pro Select Crate Fan Cooling System or you can just search up Crate Fan. And then the next thing is keep cage out of direct sunlight. That's pretty basic. Um, keep frozen bottles of water in your cage. I've always used this trick and it actually helped a lot for me. I also do this in the winter time but with warm bottles. And um, ferrets don't have a hard time keeping warm because obviously they have blankets. The house is going to be warm. But I do that anyway. So like get a frozen, like get a water bottle, put it in the freezer for a couple hours. And then just stick it, like put it in a sock or something, wrap it up in something and then stick it in your ferret's cage. Oh, um, since you, a lot of people know that ferrets, you shouldn't give a ferret um, a bath too much because it does take the natural oils out of their skin um, and makes their skin really, really dry and flaky and it's just bad for them. And sometimes if your ferret's really dirty and it needs a bath or it's that time, it's you don't really have to have a special time you give your ferret a bath. But like if it's like three months later and you're like, okay, maybe I just give her, give my ferret a bath. But in the summertime, it's it's really good. Well, this is what I used. Well, this is what I did is put my ferret in a lukewarm bath. And lukewarm means not too hot and not too cold. Like not too warm, not too hot. So it's like perfect temperature. And once they get out, don't dry them off. They will dry themselves off. And this is what I mean by don't dry them off. They will get cooler by, like, if you don't dry them off, they will get cooler because, you know, like, how are you when you get out of the bath or shower? You get pretty cold. That's how they're, they're going to feel, but they're going to like it. So, um, this is also pretty good. This also involves the fan, obviously, or another fan. Um, don't put the fan directly on their cage. Like, that one's okay because it only goes to, like, and only goes to a really low fan speed and so like other like an other fan for like if you put it on high that is way too much that's gonna blow the blankets that's just not gonna be nice for your fare so put it like towards not put it towards the cage like yeah 
Um, this is what I did in the summertime too. It didn't really help that much, be um, but put damp cloths, cloths like um, towels or something, or like a tiny towel or something in their cage. That didn't really work for me, and yeah. Um, allow them to rest on a cold surface. I have done this a lot. Well, um, if a ferret, um, because a lot of my ferrets, they, uh, when they play, they lay down, but they're still awake. They're not sleeping. But when you notice them there for a long, long time, in the summertime, you know something's wrong. Like, as long as they're sleeping, then you're fine. If they're rest, they're, I'm not saying that it's bad for your ferret to be laying there, but if they're there for a long time and they're still awake, something is wrong, and especially if the ferret's breathing heavy. And another thing that I did that I love because my vet showed me, she's not really a vet, but she's a, like a vet helper, and I absolutely love her. Um, I'm not going to give her name and contact info out because I, I just don't do that. Is on the back of their your ferret's neck, pinch not hard just a little bit and the, their skin will like kind of come out like you know what I'm talking about so like if you go like that and not hard guys because they have a floppy skin and if it holds there like it stays there and it just doesn't go down that means your ferret is dehydrated so yeah so what I mean about cold surfaces is like get like um and go get a tile or something and like put it on the ground and they can lay on it and it feels better for them. I don't do that, but um, I had a mirror, and of course, never do this um, if you know that you're going to drop something on the mirror or you're going to step on it, but I put a tiny mirror in their cage and let it let them lay on it. They loved it, and it made them feel good, and so, yeah. Um, so if you have a condition, uh, air conditioner, this will be, like, good for you. If you don't, I'm really sorry. This is not going to help you out. But keep air conditioning around 70 to 75 degrees. That's really good for them. And everybody's different. It could be too hot for you. 70 to 75 degrees can be too hot for you or too cold for you. But that's just what I use my temperature. And I don't know what my temperature is right now. I have to look at the thermostat. But I really don't know right now. But 70 to 75 is a perfect degrees. Or, yeah. Um... Um, so when you know that your fur is, um, kind of getting sick from the heat from outside, um, or from the inside, or it's just be, like, trying to be the heat, but you know your fur, you can't, um, it can get really serious. Your ferret can die. It can get heat exhaustion. It can die. That, your ferret's on the line in the summertime. So, um... When you know that your ferret is kind of getting sick from this heat, um, um, so ferrets drink a lot of water and they love food, or which mine do, and ferrets love water. Um, they should. <laughs> That's I did my research and they love water and my, my ferrets love water. So, um, but keep, I've, keep an eye on them and if they don't drink water, that means, like, if they don't, like, if you see on the gnaw, see, I have, like, my thing is probably like about that big and um, if you know that their water was like up to here and it's still there after like a couple hours that means that your fur is probably getting sick or likely going to get sick because um, dehydration and also about that neck thing that I showed you guys and if your fur is not eating that's a sign too and um like, doesn't have an appetite, you know, it's not eating, not drinking, you know, that's basically what I mean. Um, um, and I think I already said this, but they're breathing. They, like, um, when ferrets breathe, they have a steady, even humans do, they go, <sighs> that is a steady way to breathe when you're sleeping. Like, a ferret breathes like this. Obviously, their belly is, like, that big. But they go. That is steady. This is not steady. That means something is wrong. And that actually means something's wrong with a human, too. Um, and my ferret, obviously, my ferrets sometimes do this. And that doesn't mean they're dehydrated or getting sick from the heat. Sometimes they have a dream. I actually went to my vet about it, and he said that, 
sometimes they could just be having a dream and they don't like it. Like, I, my ferret slept with me one time, or they kind of sleep with me a lot, but one of my ferrets slept with me and she was kicking, she was rolling around, and obviously ferrets do that, but she had a bad dream and stuff like that. So, yeah, that's all for this video. Um, and sorry that it's kind of late in the season to be doing a... Um, how to take care of your ferret in the summer because it's kind of fall and winter time but hopefully you guys learn some new tips and maybe use them next summer and hopefully I um, helped you a lot on this video and if I did make sure to thumbs up and if you do like this video thumbs up and don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye